So you're ready for your 23 questions then? I hope so. Okay, well let's get started. What are some rituals that you practice day to day? When I get up in the morning, I grab a piece of good old fashioned paper and make a list of things I want to accomplish that day. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Oh, definitely an extrovert. What are you really passionate about? I'm passionate about caring for my family, but I've become very passionate about being a, as good a teacher as I possibly can for my students. We love to hear that from our faculty. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? Go with my family somewhere, preferably outdoors, and have no internet access and no phones. What's the most important skill you've developed over the course of your career? Learning how to communicate more effectively with people. And what is a skill that you're still working on mastering? Managing my impulsiveness, as the cliche goes, the look before I leap. How would you define yourself in three words? Curious about virtually every topic. Tenacious, adaptable. Have you had any moments in life where something just clicked? In high school, uh, the one click was I got very excited about the space program and decided that when I went to college, I wanted to study aerospace engineering, getting me a job at NASA during the height of the space program in the 1960s. The, the curiosity piece of me just kept going and that led to another click and another click and that brought me basically to where I am now. Which do you listen to most, your heart or your brain? I try to listen to both, but at the end of the day, it's usually my heart. What does an average weekend look like for you? Being with my family, um, I have two grandchildren, one that's only a year old, so my average weekend has become very hectic. I try to squeeze in some, some leisurely activities. Do you have any useless talents? Paper cranes. Oh, as a matter of fact, I even have one here. But this is, uh, <laughs> you might say, a useless skill. What's the most amazing fact that you know? I can't say it's a single fact, but I, I know a tremendous amount about the Apollo space program having worked in it. What are your favorite smells? My mother's home cooking. And what are your favorite foods? Probably my mother's homemade pastas <laughs> uh, and sauces. What's the best season? Being in a New Englander, I would have to say fall. Is there a country you've always wanted to visit? Well, yeah, I've actually visited many um, in my, my professional life before teaching. But I'd probably say I want to go back to Italy. I've been there a few times, but since that's where my family roots are, I'd love to go back and explore that. What accomplishment in life are you most proud of? Making the transition from working in industry to teaching. Uh, I was terrified at first, but once I got going and realized that I could do it and do it reasonably well, I look back on that now and say that was a good accomplishment. And what's your biggest fear in life? My biggest fear is probably just running out of time to do all the things I'd love to do. What are some of those things you love to do? Travel to different places, um, watch my children and my grandchildren grow, and just generally be happy. Do you have a favorite book or author? I have a number of them. Um, one that comes to mind is Philip Kerr, who wrote a series of books about a police detective in 20th century Germany. What would you do if you won the lottery? Run and hide. Uh, obviously I'd take care of my family, but then I'd figure out a way to give most of it away. What's the best advice that you would give your teenage self? Slow down, be patient, don't be so impulsive. What are your words to live by? Don't take yourself too seriously. Life is short, be open-minded. That is all 23 questions, Peter, you did it. That was quick. <laughs>